Hi everybody, welcome back into Robin Throne Readings and welcome if you're coming in for the first time. Warm welcome. I wish you guys luck. I wish you had mercy. Connections. Kindness. More compassion in your life. More finances in your life. Better communication in your life. I'm just channeling and throwing down a real quick reading for you, my loves. This is for the collective consciousness. We are in the full moon as we speak, 4th of July. And I have this message to bring to you. I just came back from the beach. and my, my, I'm just going to lay this out and let you guys know that someone is coming forth. The messages are coming forth loud and clear. They might be coming forth very abruptly with the, I understand that. When Uranus goes into reverse, people's true colors will start showing. And they might be sharp. They might be distinct. You might know, get some kind of information you didn't have before. It's really important. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, coming forward um, honestly, to speak honestly on something that's been bothering them and keeping them in a dark space. But they're dry, riding on a white horse, which tells me that this is a young end of it. And young energy is fast moving. It's... It's abrupt messages that come in and they come in. Maybe they, I don't know. There's a lot of communication coming in for somebody, the eight of wands, Aries Leo, uh, Aries Leo Sagittarius energy right now. Cause um, even though we have the Capricorn moon, this is passion moving forward. A lot of communication, a lot of travel, a lot of people connecting, a lot of groups getting together. Um, a, it's, it's almost life altering, whatever this is whatever this message is, and someone's getting an opportunity to start absolutely from scratch. It looks like they have a team behind them to help support them. And because they feel that this person is a star, they are getting together, bring this person out into the open. This is a star. This is a gifted person designed by God to come forward and bring planetary healing and teach people how to transform their life and their energy fields. The star could be an Aquarius, it could be a Reiki master, it could be any of you that are really sincerely doing the work to help people pull through and give them opportunities to learn to meditate, pray, to heal, Sangha, whatever it is that you're bringing forth for people, um, you know, ministering in any way, shape or form, you deserve to be blessed. All right. The moon is here because there might be something hidden. And there might be things that still need to be worked on through the process. And there might be people involved in that. And so it feels like um, a good message to me. I don't feel like it's bad energy at all. But you're going to start seeing people who does or does not support your journey at all. Keep going, Spirit. We also have Pisces and Cancer in the house. We have the Four of Pentacles. So someone um, is going to get some information relative to um, something that was held back from somebody. Keep going, Spirit, show me. The Four of Cups, Eight of Wands. Um, from somebody that, let's say this is your energy and this is the person or the energy field you're in right now. This is the Four of Cups. This is someone that neither gives nor receives love and they're not generous. You've dealt with that. I'm telling you what the guards want me to show you. Seven of Cups, the, the fool has to realize that they have options. Where your heart is, where your treasure will be, is what the Proverbs say. Spirit, tell me, Seven of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, possibly getting a brand new start. After being treated like she, they were nothing, like they were in competition with other people, like they money held back from them, gossip and, and things of that nature from such a divine being. And... The lover shows up. This is a matter of choice. What your future holds is whatever this choice is, okay? And this is about either a choice in lovers or things that you love, right? Let me do this song, Blessing for Your Solar Plexus. Deep breath. What is it you want? The spirit guides ask you, what is it you want? Make a very clear, concise choice because people are going to see that you actually have choices and they're also going to see um, that you are a shining star. Right. <clears throat> now, 
Why is the moon next to the star? King of Cups. Keeping the, this great love here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, a very um, a mature emotional energy comes forward to save you. Someone has taken away from you and God is giving back. <clears throat> You're soon to hear this information. It's soon to come forward quickly. Um, this is what I'm reading for someone and I don't know um, who exactly who receives this, but how you receive it. And it might be meant for you, my loves. Um, excuse me. <clears throat> I had so much salt in the air. My hands were sticky just being there. It's really weird. Um, at the ocean. Oh my God. Are you ready for the real truth? It's because of your fortune. It's your value. Yes. You are ready to receive a fortune. They're telling you it's coming. Ten of coins. A lot of money. You're destined to have money and someone was greedily hoarding. Maybe talking about you. Maybe trying to sh do something online to stop your business or your blessing from coming in. Doing some terrible thing like that. And um, messages are coming in for you. You are still you still continue on being shining, right? So you're shining. You're heading right to it. Make a very, very, very cautious choice. Um, who you choose to be partner with or on any level, okay? Because of the preciousness of who you are. Keep going, spirit. The four of wands is the, oh my God, Sagittarius in the house, the four of wands. So what we have here, my loves, is never mind my hands, they look like crap. This is beautiful for you, though. What we have here is you are attracting wealth because of your temperance, because of your willingness to know that this was going on anyway, and you defeated that energy by continuing to do what you were called to do. Always knowing that every day when you wake up, you transform your energy. This is violet flame energy. You transform. You transform all that negativity into a positive outlook, into a positive energy field. And you're breathing that healing and release and obstructions out beautiful thoughts in a choice of, you know, clothing, a choice of friendships, a choice of what you're going to read, believe, see, what you're going to put into your, your crown chakra, uh, the way that you're going to transform those messages and you're going to shine because you should. The moon represents someone that could possibly be in love with you. This could be a water sign, cancer or a Pisces here. Uh, there is money involved, there's a destiny involved, and there's choices involved. We have the Ten of Pentacles, the Temperance, and the Four of Wands, which I don't know if you believe in this or not. You know, I have a tendency to kind of consider the option of Twin Flames because I know what that is, and I cannot downplay the people that say they experience that, and I have experienced them. So trust me, um, my friends, that... This could very well be someone's twin flame that is finally getting together with them or their soulmate, finally building this home. Four of Wands is the marriage card. So temperance is the quality that it's going to take to attract this person. And they, they have to be on equal frequency with you in order for it to succeed. And so what will happen with this person over here or this entity or this energy or person, whatever, whoever that is, that is trying to um, cause trouble. Um, they're going to be forced to leave. They're going to be forced to leave because this is someone that lives in darkness in their mind. You understand their priorities are all wrong. They don't have their hearts not in the right place. And they are being shut down by the most high, the five of wands in reverse. They like to keep things going, but I see that God's got you protected. And I think you should know that because of who you are. And they're blocked as well. Please know this. Rest in peace. Continue. Know that they went under judgment and they withdrew their heart. You're getting back the offer that was taken from you. And you shall soon rejoice with someone. They will feel sad for what they did. They deserve to feel sad for what they did because they invaded your lovely space. You have a transformation going on within you. It could be in a personal relationship with one particular person, or it could be just you. Love conquers and transforms all 
things. It's beautiful. Don't forget to go to my beautiful website or store and order your sacred holy mist for your spiritual practices. Attract love and abundance, sacred holy anointing mist, and clear negative energy all come with beautiful crystals. There's an option to buy bath salts. There's oils. There's little mini refills. There's roll-ons. And then they're all oil-based. So they're natural, pure, and fantastic. For those that like the word, we have a word of encouragement. <clears throat> Psalms 119.2 says, Blessed are those who keep his statutes and seek him with all their heart. That's how they get to transmute energy because it's not just their own. They're tapping into the divine's energy and they're accessing codes and they're accessing um, the, the ability to forgive and, and allow to, to keep going in spite of that and then turn it over to God and let him handle these wicked people that seem to like their darkness. Right, guys? It's not us. We, we, we worked our way through it or we wouldn't be going through this reading. I had to bring it to you. I had to tell you I love you. I had to tell you how valuable you are. And it's a message from the divine for you guys. So thank you everyone for liking, hitting that like button because I can't be here without you for subscribing to my channel and hitting the all bell for also um, possibly joining um, the channel itself because I'm giving away a free reading tomorrow for someone that won for last month's blessing. I'm going to give away to anyone that joins my channel. Plus, if you join when I'm live, then you can get free mini readings at the end if you have time to wait for the end. Because I usually do a collective or you versus them, or what are they keeping from you, or Aries to Pisces readings. Those may not be the best for asking, because by the time I get to Pisces, everybody's tired. <laughs> but I uh, also I wanted to say that I have a beautiful community on Patreon, and I'm about to give a beautiful book to someone. It's called One of My $5 Donators a Month or Better. More Than Rubies, My Journey to Becoming the Proverbs 31 Wife, Worth More Than Rubies. It's a beautiful book by my friend Zoe, who created my website, helps me with my marketing. She's just, it's just beautiful. And she's an artist extraordinaire, just a shaman, really. So you would love this. Um, and I can't wait to give it to someone else. So I'm giving away three free readings. You get those by going to mypatreon.com forward slash Robin's Realm Readings. Just check the box below, my loves, and connect with me, okay? I thank you. I send you love during this holiday. Um, if you'd like to have a private reading, personal reading for yourself, any kind we need to do, just go to my website and go and to, I think you go in the shop. And in the shop is readings or on the front. I don't know. There's been so much work done. But my loves, that's for you. Come and see me if you need me. Much love to you. Take good care, guys. I'll be back with my regular stuff in a minute. In the meantime, I'm still on vacation. <laughs> love you so much. Namaste. Bye.